last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no, not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? She. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I lost my my. Uh, yeah, I lost my different color contacts. No, you idiot. I'm investigating. And now back to trying to ditch school. do it. It turns out okay. Even if you don't think it will sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta power through things and just do it. This is this is not my first time playing this game. Last recording had issues and mess ups and all kind of things. I've been in a despair for a while now. But, sometimes you just gotta power through things and try again. In fact, when the, I have a 10 minute gap where I, had to, I got a delivery and I had to get it done, so. It's timing and stuff. But, I think I can do this now, hopefully, at least. Maybe it's in a lot earlier, but. Alright, here we go. Take two. I hate depression. You like Makoko? <laughs> Nagi? <laughs> we all been waiting for you. <laughs> I'd be here afraid you'd be the to the murder at the murder you are. Listen to me. <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the cross trial. There we can reveal all the details of McCullough's crime. I'm not going to I did, but... I didn't do it. Me and Mizuno both know it all too well. But then, who is the killer? But I heard murdered Mizuno. Is it really one of us? Yes. Yes, it is. So whoever gets stuck here, trying to mess up goddamn courtroom, huh? Impossible. Man, damn, you really go to this class trial thing, huh? Huh? You know? You don't want to confess. I guess it's time to do it. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Got it. Relax. I haven't decided to harm you're the corporate yet. Maybe we always lean that way. Hey. There's no point staying around here. here. Tell your job and stuff in the future. Uh, I'm sorry. So, 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 sorry. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything around looking around or anything. Really helps. Yeah, okay, what if I was that? Who killed her? What the heck? Man, man I can't 
up when her, her tilt stock is what's right now. <laughs> well, well, did you pretty, if I think about it, you actually improve your innocence. Being so insensitive and fit, even though you, you obviously killed her, very impressive. You know so, what I mean. Man, man well, I did my job. I'm counting the rest of you from here from now on out. Mm -hmm. So this. So the skill of space but come at the darkened stage. <laughs> We're all here to bear witness to Mr. Maggie's final curtain call. <laughs> well then, the time has come. Are you ready? Camera. Rounds camera. I can't wait to on this right now. Like, if I want it right now, tell me what's happening. Anything else I need to... I, I don't need to upgrade on. Oh, one must be back to Gary Gary. She looks worried. Let's get started. Here we go. I said no choice but get on this elevator and do that all over again. Well then. Let's begin. Yes, indeed. Good idea. Beep. Hey. Are you Are you scared? No, no, no. Scared isn't quite right. I said it before. It's best up to you. Take care of the mysteries of the shrine in the case yourself. If you don't, she never comes to grips with the truth. And they cover the truth of Saga's death. I need someone to tell me to do that. Him and Zona's honor. That's for fact who the real killer is. I raise my voice. I give myself courage. I turn trembling with anticipation towards the elevator. It's that damn elevator. The elevator that set my turn. That's spoilers, never mind. Each step forward, I can feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. I also saw the elevator when I finally stepped on. The door was closed, and the elevator started to move. As the steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds toward the school's basement. I wonder, how this, I wonder if this is how death really meant feels when he, his time has finally come. Oh. Ra rather than that, is it not more like the defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to our shared anxiety. Anxiety sucks too. The elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the skull. What do you think? Does it feel like a real courtroom? Look at Hollywood movies set. Right! Woohoo! I'm a close man. Tell us, it's tell us shit. Well now. Okay, okay, everyone find your time seats and sit down. Hurry up now, hurry up! He did what he said. We found our seats. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. And the camera angle has this totally looking down as seen his shirt. Thanks, camera angle. You know, you know what we really need in these games. It's the drama. It's the fan service. We'll set up the 
everyone could see everyone else. It's also meant it'd be easy for anyone to, to transfer their tintins and unease onto to anyone else. Here seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. And so, the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly last trial. Sure. Say this again. Right. I have one tri thing to use. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> His voice. He says damage to the opponent. I didn't have to this before. We have to drain it. Increase the damage to the opponent when a, when a statement is destroyed. We have to drain bullet time battle. Oh. Too bad. Too bad that's the one part I will suck that. No matter how much damage I do to the opponent, if I can't fucking hit him. But no, no, no. Not in the past. I'll do that eventually. I did. All right. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Okay. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, you're all screwed. Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. I wonder what the this thing was. I wonder, I wonder what Tagami's thing he cared about was. And the killer really is one of us, right? Okay, then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. What? Anybody? 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 No, no. Uh, damn, I thought that would work. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Because they have honor. That's why. Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Friendship penetrates? Shut up, perv. Okay, but what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Foreshadowing. Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. For other games. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, 
Let the class trial begin! It's about to begin. Debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I notice, I have to be, be ready to speak up about everything. Even... It's like a dust on your shirt over there! So this is about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. You first done nothing we have to begin. You hear more? Yes. As things progress in the, each class trial, you will begin a number of non-stop debates. Over and over and over again. <laughs> During these discussions, it's characters will speak one, one after another without pause. And everyone Everyone's so thin. They're on a great diet. They're paper thin. Up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. Well, that means that you have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets that you found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. You let's take the aim and fire the triangle button. If it's attention to each character's statements, your truth bullet to blast the right one. Note that you can run out of time, you oh, I'm lucky fail. So please be careful. Other buttons in here is to review these controls. Well, good luck and have fun. Make your argument. Assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. <laughs> That's really all about that statement. Then the things I already know. Is that a quick little sidebar? Hey, you, over there. I just thought, why is it? Alright, alright, listen, the argument will repeat. A different statement, some, some words will appear in a different color. That, you haven't noticed? There are some places a whole other big silent. Possible big spot. Big spots are real important, but not always accurate. It's a person's statement. Two bullets only are effective against these weak spots. T1, come up, the game, fire. Only if you're sure it's actually wrong, I can fast forward. I press the, the circle. Good luck, have fun. I assert that the one who was murdered can't be in the murder. In the bathroom, so it seems most the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. No, it's wrong. You're wrong, Fusaki. You're Just wrong. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. How it? How? I don't. I don't know. I just. I, look, I don't know. I was. I need investigating. Remember, I was in the gym the whole time. <laughs> With the way things have been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle between who and who? Between you and Mizono, because you did it! You, you did it, Fuzaki. You wanted to borrow her clothes, but she wouldn't let you. Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. And that's why you killed her, isn't it? So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It should have <coughs> been explained. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow. This is starting to sound like a real trial. What do you think we're doing here, you fat idiot? 
Don't make me bit slap you. I'm right next to you too, I can. Anyways. We determine what was used to kill Mizono. Make your argument! So what was used <coughs> to kill her? There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon! So the killer used some random knife they had on him. How could anyone do something like that? That son of a bitch! I don't think I heard something I already know. So what was used to kill her? There was some kind of sh without a doubt. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. No, it's wrong! A random knife. It's my knife. I, I mean, I, I mean, the kitchen. It's a knife. No, I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? I don't know what that is. I don't. Use, I don't use the kitchen. After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. <laughs> Music, pumping me up. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Fast. Right. Huh. Huh. Yes, I can't do that. What do you want me for? Just I'm confused now. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Look at me! And uh, uh, Makoto! I'm a genius! That's right! Makoto's room was the scene of the crime! What more proof do you need? Hold on a second! I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Carrie Gr Gr has a, 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 a sly smile on her face. I like her smile. Such, such, such good as she smiles. Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? I do. Look at my look at me smile. I'm confident in my smile. She's right. Her smile makes me her smile makes me feel 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 something. There's gotta be a breakthrough somewhere. I'm just waiting for us to find it. So I know damn well I'm not the killer. What about months of debate? Do you want to hear more? I should probably done the art button. Change the time will slow down so you can pay close attention to what everyone's saying. How about that? It'll stay your aim, making it easier to target defense weak spots. Check out on this consume the focus gauge. The gauge empties, you can't concentrate. Focus gauge recover over time, so your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well then, good luck and have fun! So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Makoto mm, must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He did it in secret, and nobody was in the dining hall. And then he went and stabbed Sayaka with it. So he really did do it. Mm, yes, yes. Mm. 
been decided. We've reached the end. I have a quick game. I should actually take the pictures knife. No matter how many times I repeat myself, you won't believe me! As long as they're approved. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Makoto mm, must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He did it in secret. We know, but No, that's wrong! You're all wrong! Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you, you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Yeah, you think. Tell us what you think. Huh? Uh, who, me? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I wanted some tea from the kitchen last night, and and and, and man, the knives are all still there. When I finished my tea, I went back in the kitchen, washed my glass, and the knife was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you're drinking the tea in the dining hall? Totally, yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um... No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Come on. Man, come on. Our right, the one here, you at least, you know, remember with more clarity. And, you know, time for guessing around here. Peasant girl. No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? She's a bolt down! Wait, no, it's a bolt. Idiot swimmer girl! And that's rude! Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear if there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Interesting. Very interesting. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But... What if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Jeez! Woo! God, dragging things down like this! Thank you forever! Oops! Did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer. Okay, so then... Who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. The diesel one. Right. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um... Well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. 
I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's... unwholesome! But... I'm a girl. <laughs> you are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> but if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Hmm. What possibility indeed? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Look at me concentrate. Look at me concentrate. It's there in your, to your soul. Oh, yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. My bad. So, my, my bad. My bad. Sorry, sorry, people. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because they're not here anymore. It was Junko. Who's not here? Are you talking about Sayaka? She's the one who came to the dining hall, and then later, she wound up dead. Mazono. The person who took the knife in the kitchen was. It was Marakuma. It was you, Hina, wasn't it? I got it! Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. So says Sakura. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water, but most likely... And the person who took the knife was the victim herself! I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. Can fit to myself? So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? See? He did do it after all! What's with, the, what's with your smile? That smug look. Or you look... You look embarrassed, almost. Foucault! What's your... Are you... Turned on? No, you're wrong. So that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction. I will bit slap you. You know that. Mm -hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. Damn! I'll do something. They're gonna blame me for the murder. Still. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die! Because I'm the killer, of course. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Is Kirigiri believes in me? I think she likes me. Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The first thing in this game is about to begin. Would like to hear more?
for sure. As things advance further in the class trial, the Hangman's Gambit will eventually take place. At this point, it's, the point of this revealed an important phrase laid the instant uh, uh, question. If there's a phrase for the letters we find around, the letters are already known. We have seen then the final letters in the right order. Let's stick the A and the triangle button shoot down the desired letters. In the wrong letters will suffer damage to your influence gauge. Zero, you're out of time. You fail! Just like always! Have fun! Good luck. You're gonna need it. This has been a scene that wasn't. That must be the crucial point. Okay, sure, so, so, you know, is. Four layer words. Theory. Damn it. Now I understand. Ah, damn, I lost a heart heart. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. No hair at all. So the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. Oh my god, you're an idiot. That makes sense, does it not? Yes! They removed the... Yes, they removed her hair to make sure... They removed all her hair to make... To remove all three that she was there. I don't think they forgot anything at all. Did they? Let me think. No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. Right. The body! The killer always forgets about the dead body in the room. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. They had been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then, Makoto isn't the culprit? I've been telling you this whole time! Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? Did, did they? Look at me of my... I'm... Just my serious face. What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? What is... Oh, look at this. Up. Broken. Animation. Wee. Oh. All right. I got it. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? And I just animated. I'm the ultimate animator. Huh? The doorknob. What doorknob? But you know the doorknob that's on the doors. Idiot. The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. 
See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. But what does it mean? It means someone threw the doorknob. In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Kill case is bewildering act. But was it? Guess we'll have to find out next time. I'm sure you're trapping havoc. Gonna take a break this time. Let's stop loading. Enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Oh, hit that like button. Please. Thank you. Bye.